Hello, I'm Kentaro Hayakawa from Kyoto University. I'd like to talk about form generation of rigid origami by March objective optimization for approximating a curved surface. Rigid origami is a kind of polyhedral origami which can be folded without deformation of its facets. And this folding mechanism is called rigid foldable. This property is well suited to the engineering application, especially for deployable structures. To apply rigid origami to the architectural purposes, it is important to develop a method that can generate rigid origami with the intended shape. We have proposed a form generation method for approximating a curved surface. Through the optimization program, several polyhedra which can be developed to a plane are obtained. They have different degrees of freedom of rigid fold mechanism. We have also developed plan model for form generation and folding mechanism analysis. It's also used in this study. In a previous study, the approximation accuracy of the target surface is not optimized. It means that it can be improved within the acceptable error of the developability and rigid affordability of the solutions. So, in this study, much objective optimization is performed to minimize the shape error of the polyhedron from the target surface. First, we'll briefly introduce the frame model. It consists of frame elements and hinges. If a polygonal facet with more than three vertices exists, it is divided into some triangles. And the edge between these triangles are called fixed crease line, as shown in the figure. Variables of form generation process is nodal coordinates. Frame model can be used throughout the proposed method with a reconstruction of the model. From here, the optimization program for form generation is formulated. When a polyhedron is developable to a plane, the sum of angles between the crease lines around each interior vertex should be equal to 2 pi. And some crease lines are fixed to reduce the degrees of freedom of mechanism. The pairs of facets connecting to the fixed crease lines are integrated into flat polygons. The unit normal vectors of these facets should be parallel. Therefore, the condition of developability of the polyhedron and the flatness of its facets can be formulated as gx equal to zero. On the other hand, the approximation accuracy is measured by the sum of the square distance in the direction between the vertices and the target surface. In view of engineering application, the approximation accuracy AX may be improved by allowing the small positive value for GX. Much objective optimization problem is formulated as shown in the slide. First constraint is set to ensure enough space around the surface. Second and third constraints are to avoid an excessively sharp shape. And fourth constraint is the boundary condition. A bright solution of the MOP is found by the constraint approach. First, the single objective optimization problem, SOP1, is solved to minimize GX only. Then, the other objective function AX of MOP is minimized under relaxed upper bound constraint on GX. This is the total process of the form generation. It starts from the triangulated target surface. And then, much objective optimization problem is repeatedly solved while the number of fixed crease lines is increased. Finally, the developability of each obtained solution is evaluated by generating the development diagram. The rigid foldability is also evaluated by the large deformation analysis. The proposed method was applied to two types of target surfaces as shown in the slide. 
The shape of the polyhedron is not uniquely determined only by solving the proposed optimization problem. So the z coordinates of the vertices, except for the corner vertices, were perturbed and various developable polyhedra have been obtained. 20 trials of form generation were carried out with shown parameters. For comparison, the form generation by only SOP1 was also carried out. This is the average values of objective functions of minimum degrees of freedom solutions obtained by 20 trials. From this graph, it can be said that the approximation accuracy can be improved by allowing GX to be slightly larger. Next, the edge length error in the development diagrams and those in the large deformation analysis are shown. It can be concluded that even when epsilon is increased, a solution which can be continuously developed with small deformation of its facets can be obtained. Finally, the example of the optimal shape is shown. This solution has three DOF mechanisms. It can be continuously developed to a plane with good accuracy. The example of the dome surface is also shown. It has one DOF mechanism and is approximately rigid foldable. This is the conclusion of this presentation. We propose the much objective optimization approach for form generation of rigid origami. Examples using target surfaces which have negative and positive Gaussian curvatures are shown, and the approximation accuracy has been successfully improved comparing to our previous study. Thank you for listening.